Hi guys, Chris here. In this video, I'm going to create a table view with a search bar on top. The actual application will look somehow like this when I'm done. And what I will do in this example is that I will create a table view full of names and you will be able to search for a specific name in the search bar and that will narrow down the table view until you find that specific name you're looking for. Let's just get started and implement that. start off by opening up Xcode and hit create new Xcode project. I will then select single view application and call this project the search bar app and hit create. So here we have the empty project. I will go to the main storyboard and find a table view and drag that into here. And I also want a search bar. So I'll find the search bar and drag that into here as well. So I'll then make them fit nicely. Just like that. And then put some constraints on them. So I think we should just do zero all around and also for this one. Zero to the top with height left, right, all around. So. I will then control click and drag from the table view to the round yellow circle up here and hit data source beneath outlets and I will hit delegate as well. I will then select the search bar and do the same and just hit delegate here. And I will then select the table view and put one prototype cell in there, select the prototype cell and just create make the style basic because we don't want to customize it right now and then here under identifier we will give it the identifier of just cell I will then open my assistant editor and control click and drag the table view into here and just call it table view and I will do the same for the search bar so I will control click and drag that in here and call it search bar. Now we're good to go and ready to write some code. So I will close down the assistant editor and go into the viewcontrol.swift file and in here I will start off by adding the UI table view data source and UI table view delegate and of course I will also add UI search bar delegate. So from here I think we might get an error because when working with table views, we always have to make use of these two functions. And if you haven't worked with this before, I have a video on how specifically to work with table views. So go look at that. And yes, we have these two functions here. The first one is number of rows in section. And in here, we want to have something in our table views, so of course, what I will do is that I will create an array called name array and I will fill this array with some names. I'll say Bob, Anton, Stephanie, Stephanie, and I don't know, oops, Aaron, and Steve. I know these little names are really weird but it's okay. I will then in here in the number of rows section say name array dot count and in the table view I will say let cell be equal to table view dot d q reusable cell with the identifier of cell which is the identifier we gave it and I will then say cell dot text label dot text is equal to the name array name array and then index path dot row and we will return a cell so if I compile and run the app now are we missing something yes of course we have to return this so we just add and return here and then compile and run and 
moment our table view is working fine but we can't search yet so let's create that function so to be able to search I will create a variable called searching names and it will be equal to an array and then in here there will just be a single string and this string will be the text we put into the search bar and then down here I will also create a variable called searching and put that to false and if we are not searching and if we are searching this is going to be toggling between truth and false so we can reset the table and stuff like that so down here I will add two functions the first function is for the search bar it's called a text did change so whenever the text changes we want to do something and the second function is also for the search bar and is called search bar cancel button clicked so this will enable us to make use of the cancel button if we would if we don't want to search anymore so the first thing we'll do is go into the number of rows and section here and create an if statement of when we are searching so I will say if searching is equal to true so I don't even have to write equal to true we can just do like this next code will understand we will say a return searching names dot count and else we would like to return the name array dot count so we have to do the same here in the self row at index path so in here I will say if we are searching we would like to say that um, cell dot text label dot text is equal to searching names and then index path dot row else we want to say cell dot text label dot text is equal to name array and of course we want to return the cell in both cases and down here in the did um, text did change function I will say searching names is equal to name array dot filter so we want to create a filter here and in this filter I will write I will actually yeah I will write I will create the filter myself here and write dollar zero and this dollar zero actually just means that it will populate each and every element from the array of names so in here I will say dollar zero dot lowercase because we don't want to have any issue issues with lowercase and uppercase um, names so this is why I say dot lowercase and then behind this I will say prefix search text dot count and is this will be equal to search text dot lowercase and behind here I will say searching is true because in this case we are using the search function so searching will be set to true and then table view will reload data and of course we have to handle the cancel button as well so here I will say searching is false because we are not searching anymore when we press the cancel button and then I will say search bar search bar dot text will be empty because we have no words in there and then table view table view dot reload data so this should be it guys let's compile and run and see what we get so in here we have our table view and if I search B I will get Bob and if I search A I will get Anton and Aaron 
and of course this cancel button right here also works as well so this should yeah this works fine looks great so i hope this helped you guys that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you liked the video press the like button below and if you have any question to the video or to the code itself then just leave a comment if you want to see more of these videos in the future you should definitely hit that subscribe button below and otherwise just take care and keep on coding Thank you.